I, I, we want to invest in young people and tell them, uh, you know, life is more than just the likes and the shares and the follows. Like, uh, uh, young people should uh, understand that there's a greater role they must play in the community. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Happiness at Natsoni Bombs. Just in case you are seeing my beautiful face for the first time, yes. So welcome to my channel and please hit the subscribe button just in case you haven't subscribed yet and also like this video. So today's video is an interview and I'll be having a hat to hat interview with no other person than attorney set free you all it was a great privilege and a great opportunity to interview him really like i never saw it coming and this man is so down to earth he's so smart he's so humble he has uh so many things to tell you but then you just had to watch the interview so you would know for yourself yes all right, so um, he's currently running to be the city councilor of Iloilo City, and I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that he wins because he really has a great plan, you know, for the people of Iloilo. So yeah, that's by the way, there's so much to learn from this video. There is really so much to learn from this video. So do not skip any part. Just patiently watch up until the end. All right, let's go. All right, so hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and yes, so this is a guest I talked about before we started this video and right here with me is... Set Free, Kabaluna. Okay, Hello. so this is Anthony Set Free and like I said in the previous video, I'm going to ask him some questions and these questions are really, really, you just have to keep watching. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Scared. <no>? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, Sam, can you tell us about yourself? Like, who are you? Oh, that's a difficult question to start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm a 37 of Pico Beluna. Okay. I'm a resident of Ilu City. Um, I, I've been working in the field of media. That's my first job. Okay. And uh, I worked with uh, BBS-CBN at first. Okay. And supported myself through law school until I became a lawyer. Uh, so I got, I joined also for a time. I joined the Commission on Human Rights. I joined also the Department of Tourism. So I work in government. Mm -hmm. I also taught in the University of San Agustin. And uh, recently, I got back in media through GMA as the anchor of the local news and also as a uh, official of the Department of Tourism. So I've had a range of jobs, no? but uh, yeah. me and I personally, I'm kind of a person who's really trying to, I think uh, I'm born to, and my it's craving right. is going to public service. So that's why in all my jobs, it's usually about uh, using that platform to help people. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing to know that you've done a lot of things, a lot. <laughs> it sounds like I'm old, no? Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. Um, I think you are into politics, right? Mm -hmm. So why didn't you for that with the law? Why do you have to go to politics? Uh, that's true. Right now I'm vying for uh, the position of city councillor here yeah, in the yeah, city. Yeah. So the reason for that is um, all these jobs I've gotten myself into have uh, taught me a lot of things. No? Yeah. My media work taught me how situations are in the community, yeah. uh, things that uh, people are clamoring for, changes that they're asking for. Yeah. And uh, I felt like my end, the end of working in media is to report it no? and hope people will act on it. Yeah. When I was a lawyer, it's the same thing. I'm trying, I also handle clients whose rights were violated. I also handle uh, cases for the community. And I felt like uh, the next step is this. Okay. Joining politics really is to be able to find resources yeah. to institutionalize solutions to problems which mm -hmm. have long been there. No? So I guess my path through various the diverse backgrounds, the diverse work have led me really to a position where serving the public now is uh, this is the convergence of all my learnings in yeah. various job opportunities that I have uh, worked for or worked with. Okay. Um, for how long have you been in politics? Barely, no. Uh, this is my first time, no. Uh, oh. well, uh, if you well, if you look at politics, I started with youth pol student politics. I, exactly. I was yeah. in student council and I was in college in the community, a member of the organizations. But vying for city politics 
uh, hopefully this will be my chance. Uh, yes, it will definitely be your chance. <laughs> okay. I also want to ask, uh, like, what inspires you? Uh, every day. You know, every day you have to be inspired every day with little things. Uh, when in my work, you know, each time I meet, I meet young people, when I teach people and I see them driven to make their dreams, you get inspired. When I'm in communities and I report on inspiring stories of people helping people, communities trying to stand up on their own yeah. during the pandemic, it inspires you. So my family inspires me as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, I guess uh, each day you should find the necessary tools to find meaning in what you do. No? So yeah. I guess it's day to day. Day to day you find meaning in, ev in everything you do. No? Uh, that's what's important. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So I have another question to ask you, and the question is, what would you tell your younger self? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what would you tell your younger self? I guess to slow down, to slow down. Yeah, uh, there was a time when I was in a hurry to do everything at the same time. So I was trying to, uh, I felt like it was a race, no? Yes. So, it has to be. It has to happen in this period of time. I must yeah, get this there moment. in this period of time. You yes. miss. You miss moments that exactly. are. You miss those times when you have people around you. You have your family around you. I guess if I have to tell him, just be patient about it. Take your time. Enjoy the moment because that's how life should be. No, even if you're going towards a particular direction, each point should you should not miss everything at every point in your life. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, have you um, encountered challenges? I want to go back to the positive yeah. aspect. So, do you um, have challenges? I have. I have had many. No, I've had many. Uh, my life is really about, that is one of my programs in the future. I want to create a second chances program. Yeah. Because if you talk about failures and challenges, I've had a lot of those. So mm. I studied in Manila for a while. Uh, with high hopes and expectations of people yeah. because I studied in one of the best schools in the country mm. and at the de Manila University. After three years, I kind of shifted back because I chose a course. I ran away from being a lawyer. I, okay. chose, I, cho I chose the, the course of BS Physics with Computer Engineering. I wanted to work in NASA and all that. <laughs> okay. So I did not make it. No? I, I did not make it to NASA. I went back here and took up law. No? The first time I took the bar, I did not make it as well. So I worked even harder to make it the second time around. Then next time around, I, uh, I ran also for public office in 2016 as an independent. I didn't make it. So this is my second try. So I guess my life's all about challenges and second chances. And I want to share that to people. You know, that uh, failures doesn't define you. It's how you rise up from them. It's how you recover from them better, bigger, and stronger. You know? and that's how it should be. Uh, some, and if you say, if you look at my program, the Second Chances program, which I want to implement in the future, it's a wrong grammar. You don't have second chances. That's not plural. Mm -hmm. No, it's, uh, it's it's second chance. Yeah. But I call it second chances because there must be an abundance of that for people, the young right. people. No? Every yeah. time, if you miss your second chance, you should be given as many chances as you can to reach your dreams. You deserve that. You deserve that. As long as you're motivated, as long as you. Uh, want to be someone, if you want to achieve what you want to achieve in life, uh, then society and the community should give you every chance, chance you get. Yes, that's, that's correct. Yes, I really like that. Yeah. Okay, so um, I went through your page and I saw that you have this thing for youth. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's the best sector we should invest in. Uh, the country mm -hmm. must invest in young people. Uh, young people, it's a challenge nowadays for young people to have the dynamics of the environment that we have. Yeah. No? There's social media. Yeah. Social media tends to create a culture that everything happens so quickly. Mm -hmm. no? uh, satisfaction or affirmation is made through likes, comments, shares, and mm -hmm. follows. No? Yeah. So I guess, like you, you're, you, have a, you have a channel, no? yeah. so sometimes you measure it by the number of people watching. Watching it, uh, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I guess I, I, we want to invest in young people and, and tell them, uh, you know, life is more than just the likes and the shares and the follows. Like, uh, uh, young people should uh, understand that there's a greater role they must play in the community. Uh, we have a national hero here. Is Jose Rizal, yeah, and he said the youth is the hope of the fatherland. Yeah. And uh, I agree with him at one point. But I tell my young people now, uh, you're no longer the hope. Because 
if you keep hoping, no, the next generation will say, oh, it's not yet my turn, it's yeah, the next it's generation. The next, no? yeah. And the next generation comes and says, oh, it's not yet our turn, it's the, the next one. Yes. No? So I guess uh, what I'm saying is, Rizal is saying youth is the hope, and we must accept that that moment of hope is now. No? now you must take now. the cudgels now. You must accept the fact that it's no longer something that you should pass on to the next generation. If this country will be great, if the, the young people should play a vital role now in deciding the direction of the country and doing their part in making it better. So if you become the city councillor, what are your plans? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot. no. Uh, for one, um, I want to make the city council closer to the people. Mm -hmm. no? So I guess I want the, the laws that should be passed to be more consultative. Yeah. to be more participative, yeah. no? allowing uh, all the, the communities, the different sectors, the urban poor, the transport sector, whatever the ordinance is for, they should participate in it. No? Mm -hmm. Sometimes ordinances and laws are made for us to follow without us contributing to crafting it. Exactly. No? So yeah, right. that's why the acceptance is not as good. No? I'd like, yes. I'd li I, like I said, it's okay if it's wrong grammar, as long as it comes from people. You know? people. The, or how how our law should be crafted, it should come from bottom up. The people should be empowered, uh, be empowered to to come up with solutions to day-to-day -day problems because they will be the ones that will follow the law. Yeah. You know? And uh, it's easier to follow something that you've contributed how you have to engage it. So I guess I want the council to be closer to the people. Uh, I have the chance to, for people to participate. I still believe that nobody, no leader, has the monopoly of the best ideas. The best ideas comes from uh, opening it up, allowing more people to give their peace of mind. No? Yeah. And uh, like the Siderata, even the least among us have something to share. No? Okay, so my last question, <laughs> my last question would be, can you advise, not even a question actually, mm -hmm. could you please advise the youth watching? Can you say something to that? Oh, it's for young people. No? Mm -hmm. I know, the world will, uh, right now may be a challenge. Uh, I guess your vision of yourself, something you should set something for yourself. You know? My father told me before what your mind can conceive, you, know, you can achieve. You know? So uh, you must set something for yourself and set your bar high, you know, because you're only limited by your imagination. You know? And uh, when you put something forward no? and you believe in it and you work hard for it, there's no reason you will fail. Mm -hmm. no? uh, I think uh, young people should not sell themselves short. No? Yeah. I'll tell you example, I have, this is my book. No? Um, this is called Sentido Comon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my book. But I was never a writer when I was in school. Oh. Uh, and I was never in the publication. Never. No? So my, how did this come up? Oh. Uh, because when I was when I was in elementary, I was a public speaker. I was okay. a student leader. High school, college, never wrote anything. But uh, ten years ago, I started writing, yeah. and um, it was uh, something I challenged myself to do. Okay. So regardless if I didn't have the formal training for it, mm. I opened myself up to making mistakes and work hard to improve the craft. So I was able to make it. So I guess more than the the book itself, it's a testament that. We can, no? If you put something, your mind into it, you can do something, no? It doesn't have to be super perfect. Yeah. It just have to represent what you believe in, yeah? Yeah. It just have to represent what you want to achieve and um, uh, go on, go on, believe and uh, make it happen, no? Uh, cross that line between dreaming and doing, no? And that's, uh, that's what, that's the secret to success. So Thank you, Harry. Okay, do you want to talk about the book? How did they get the book? <laughs> yeah. uh, the book, if you're in the Philippines, you can order through Shop Your Lazada. Just click on Sentido okay. Common and you can get the book. No? Uh, at the same time, no, you can also order. We have a text line. You can flash it on your screen. No? And uh, But just uh, have yourself a chance to be bothered by my thoughts. <laughs> it has la three languages. There's English, Filipino, and no? mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, hopefully you will like it, guys. Definitely they would. So again, if you want to get the book, please order this for this book from Lazada or Shopee. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. And please follow Artisat Free yeah. on Facebook. I'm going to put 
um, the name of his page right here on the screen. So please follow him on fa Facebook. Do you have YouTube? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. So <laughs> we're gonna make one. Uh, okay. But uh, no yeah. problem. So <laughs> please follow. Please follow his Facebook page. Okay. And um, I think he does. Something every Friday? Uh, this Friday, every Friday I do a Facebook Live, discuss some love topics, yeah. then we would end it with some political social context. No? So you, you might want, that. that's on my page as well. Just yes, please, every Friday. Time. Today's topic was so mind-blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you understood many of what I was I saying. I actually understood really? what you were saying. You're already longer by heart. You're already longer by heart. Yeah, okay. So um, I'm so grateful for this opportunity yeah. to have you here. Thank you so much for making our time and I wish you all the very best in the election. I know that you're going to, of course, you're going to win thank by you. God's grace. <laughs> so thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Of course, anytime. Okay. So hi guys, so please do not forget to follow him via Facebook and please do not forget to get this book via Shopee or Lazada, okay? And do not forget to like this video and also subscribe. God bless you and bye! Bye! -bye.